Hello and welcome back to Complexity versus Space Station. Last three days of ECS Season 6. If you're just joining us, of course, I must remind you that we have massive point giveaways going on at the moment. We are doubling down on all the points drops, so make sure you connect your YouTube and your Facebook account. I can't remind you enough. But to get into the game, we just had a, I would say, surprising victory for Space Station on map one, which was Cash. Now we move on to Nuke. And I think it's interesting because Space Station, from the beginning of the season towards the end, have had a lot of changes in their lineup, but it looks like they've pretty much found a system that's working so far. You know, they've got Davey in as an IGL. They, you know, they took, you know, Voltage out as that Orper. Now they've got Odorous in there. He seems to be doing, you know, a great job as far as, you know, role-playing is going from that perspective. So just generally across the board, Space Station looking like they've got some structure. It's just a question of how prepared are they? And apparently they're only prepared for one map. It probably wasn't Nuke. But let's see if they can do it on the CT side as the push does come into the ramp position. And Snakes does the typical thing, just falls back, tries to do what he can, tries to slow them down, tries to give warning and time for rotation, but complexity, they speed up. And they are making things quite difficult here on this lower bomb site. Three versus two, still doable. Davey makes his way into the open terrain. And very sneaky, complexity deciding to, instead of going low, go upper. Now they pulled all those CTs down below. They've managed to outfox them here with their maneuverability. And, you know, that was one of the interesting things about Nuke, is that you have these fast rotation times between the bomb sites. You can be in between the bomb sites in a good five seconds with those vents. One of the more, well, it is the unique trade of this map. So David just hunting for some kills here with Grim, looking to see what they can do. The, the smoke dropped on the bomb for pressure. Nice catch with some damage, but this is not too much that they can do. Complexity picking up the pistol, and again, we can't imagine the Space Station have prepared for this map or have done all that much practice oh. for it with the current iteration of players that they have. Sorry, I made loads of noise in my mic. Dealing with a nosebleed. My face is bleeding, I'm bleeding from the face. Why do you get nosebleeds? Um, I don't know, I think I... My nose is a bit dry, so it's rubbing it a lot. I gave Fallen a hug once and he his nose started bleeding. On you? Not on me, no. On himself. Space station with USPs in the choke point. That's annoying. Strength in numbers. Or not. Snake's baiting the whole team. He wants those last few seconds of POV. You watch him fall to his demise. <clears throat> Two zero for complexity. Now, of course, they did drop the uh, the previous map to space station on cash. If you're not tuned in, a rare win for space station. Maybe even they'll become less rare, more common with. Their new lineup. Wall of smokes outside. They make their way towards the secret position. Already Snakes is waiting. Outside control, inside the site. Complexity just running, making uh, not, not shy about this. Davey holding the ramp position, which will make it hard to plant the bomb as well. That one is an issue which will need to be solved. I think Snakes made a few footsteps there. Otherwise, who knows what may have happened, and that will change things dramatically. Orcs go in on the way in, Davey. Can't quite find the first. But maybe Odorous can, yes. Smokes out, and the breach continues. Of this bombsite, Grim from the back as well, working his way uh, forwards. Really constricting these T's. Not much room left to breathe. As Shazam, very nice. Quick kill with the AK. Much more needed though as Infinite shuts him down. Android 12 HP. There's just surely no way. Can't quite find the headshot with the Mac 10. Awkward. And the defuse comes in for Space Station and and the CT side. It's so critical. You we can't imagine they've got a very routine, very drilled T side on them for Nuke. So they have to get. They, they, I think they really need to get like 10 rounds at the very least there. Double org. Let's go. Great map for the Orc. Lots of long ranges. If 
and they're just so ready for that. Infinite has just amazing crosshair placement. Whenever you watch a player like him and everything, everything just looks easy. Just every frag just looks easy. And that is not by accident. Got good movement, good positioning, good anticipation, great mechanics, good crosshair placement. Very big wall of smokes. Three smokes in total. The earlier one makes sure they can't see if anyone's crossing or not. So the same as last time where I think everybody was outside. All but one, maybe. And now everybody's inside and they're lining up for infinite. Repositioning, falling back through the smoke. Very quick decision from him. And that surely should have been the kill. I think you may have been watching the smoke and Sandestor will be last to fall. So it's still successful for Space Station. Losing two players, grabbing the AWP. <clears throat> and very quickly, Complexity are on Eco. They won the pistol on the next one. Space Station have gone from the buy to win the second round. This is a money-making round for them. Complexity won't inv invest too much into it, mostly pistols. Android has a Desert Eagle, though. That's been a problem. <coughs> As does Shazam. Nice HE just in case. And the ramp area will be contained for now. Let's not forget, this whole area, this... Uh, Radio room, as we call it, is wider now. Speaking of going wide, infinite spray is. <laughs> Lovely tap on the fourth player. Very nice highlight from him. I'm sure that pleased Dan. There's, it's not so often you see it work like that. Spray out everything except the last bullet and then pop. Okay, three bullets left. Okay. That would have been better if you had one bullet yeah. left. That's pretty awesome. I'm telling you, man, everything he does just looks easy. It's easy. Makes you want to say, I can do that. But no, you can't. Uh oh, Odor is back at it again with that AWP. Space Station taking the fight to complexity on the outside. Ooh, opportunity. Infinite. Starting through, and Android's going to have himself a couple. Now things get a bit awkward here for Space Station. Another one for Android, surely, but no, denied. Grim gets it done. Or Snakes, rather. Oh my god, how has he found his way there? Don't have an idea of where Death was. He claimed a person earlier on. Maybe the reload will give Grim's position away. He doesn't know where Death is if he's towards Mini. Never mind, he knows where he is now. Finishing off the peppering with the AUG. Again, so important to know where the spray goes with the Augie. You saw Davey had some issues earlier. Um, again, with the Krieg, it is kind of like the second part of a seven. If you are using a pen, the second stroke. But with the Org, I should know, but I have no idea. I can't tell you. I can't remember. Get your death match in. Look at this buy from Space Station. All kinds of equipment. Shotguns, SMGs. Sniper rifles, rifles, scoped rifles. Well, so Space Station know that complexity have gone downside. Davies able to even run us uh, quite a slow flank here. So the reposition is coming in. So Space Station have all the knowledge and they have the positioning now as well. There shouldn't really be a world in which they let the bomb go down here. Look at all this coverage they have. No utility to block these points of contact for the CTs, so... You just sit and wait, and here's the f another flank. Space Station don't have to do a single thing at this point, just hold. Well, I guess you can just push and die as well. I suppose that's the thing. Teammate could have flash room on the ramp. Seems there was a consideration. Leg? Did he see the leg? He does now. Nice from Infinite. Playing the information, doubling his kill tally. All of a sudden, it's a man advantage for Space Station. Plenty of grenades. Ooh. Well, where's Ye? That's a question. Where is Ye? They get back on the defuse once again. He's going to delay his P. Could look through the door. And that will be the round for Space Station. That's five in a row.
So it's definitely looking good for them. And I, and I really can't drive it home enough. They need to have a very strong CT side. They really do. Two orcs, P90, or Pen4. <laughs> you don't often see this combination of guns, but see what it can do. The Molotov onto the hut roof there from T side is suggestive that they want to go upper, but Grim just retakes this position after falling off of it. So you have to wonder if there was a play that Complexity had in mind, which they were unable to execute there behind that Molotov. Smokes outside again to cover as they threaten to push down secret. Triple wall of smokes. Odorous gets one though through that smoke. Death falls. And now Android as well, dying outside. Oh, it's just going wrong, isn't it? And the Slorny anti eco position, waiting for pushes. And none are even needed because they've got no frags. Well, then, that was quite a round from Space Station. You start to wonder already if we're going to see a 2 0 because I'm not feeling like complexity have a way in in this half. That didn't look spectacular. A variation in their smoke setup. But um, timing was a little off to give the first pick to Odorous. Davey is quoted at, as saying he was a very good author. Yeah, so far he does look really good. Very fast. One thing though is that I, I, I'm just, I was still trying to understand exactly what Complexity were going for in that previous round. Maybe they'll show something better here. But oh, Odorous actually just aiming slightly too high there. Shazam will take him down. Opportunity strikes here for Complexity now. As Davey wraps around the side, able to control the flow of the traffic. Taking down Dev, putting up the stop sign. As Grim now can hear them running around as he goes for a play outside of main. He's going to find the back of Yay. One more to go. Shazam around the corner. He's too good for it, though. And that's a 3v2 advantage now. Infinite in a lobby. Snake's pushing ramp. Collapsing on the lobby position. When they see no one there, will they choose to believe? That's a big frag. Not the bomb carrier though. Hot flash to have a look again. That's the bomb carrier. Could go either way. Snakes is in position for a fast rotation. There is time for complexity. They know where they were last seen. So a bit of running and then back to walking again. Looking to maybe flank the heaven position. 30 seconds to do it. Ever so quietly. Oh, now they start to speed up. They've just given the info away. That's a lot of free info for Snakes. The bomb being thrown down. You'll hear that as well because Shazam didn't collect it. So he knows where both the players are. Oh, boy. There's the first one. There's the second one. Easy burst from him. Wow. I feel like Shazam, um, Complexity just gave the, the information away by making a step on the ladder but they're not really running afterwards. So it seemed like somebody messed up. And I just gave them way too much information and they couldn't drop the bomb to, well, he knew got one guy dropped, that was enough anyway. Great play from him. But I feel like it could have been slightly better for complexity. I love how I was trying to get behind the first player as well to see if he could get a two free kills. Really nice work. Space Station are looking lights out at the moment. It's really enjoyable to see them in such form. Complexity struggling. And Complexity, you know, they have a lot of really good players. Everyone in Complexity these days is quite proven. So it's really cool to see this performance out of Space Station. Because also it's just the way that the performance is playing out in front of us. You know, we're seeing you know, great efforts from everybody. Obviously, Infinite's having a really nice game of nuke so far. He's 14 for 6. But everybody otherwise, you know, is doing their job. And, you know, Snakes is winning clutches. And you can see good decision making overall. They're trying to play like a team, good communication. And like knowing when to make plays as well, as, as opposed to ever being too static or too afraid or, you know, experiencing indecision. So enjoying that so far. And it's a fast one from Complexity. Oh, too fast for Davey. Perhaps he still had a knife out. Not an ideal start. Especially when they have so many advantages. Oh, looks like Odorus has been spotted. Oh. That could have been a massive play. But instead, it will give a lot of chances to complexity. Maybe, oh, infinite exposed, taken down. Death can make his way up now. 
Space Station getting picked apart, and Complexity can still make a good half out of this. So, it's been seven rounds in a row for Space Station, but this could easily turn around. The Snakes, one versus three. The money is not great for Space Station, and the chances aren't great either in this round. So you're just going to play for Exus, maybe. Make it more expensive for Complexity. Give them a worse buy. You can see how, money, how low the money is for Complexity. Or is he going for an AWP? I do believe that the scope can be heard from a certain distance. The scope in and out. I'm not sure what, what the distance is like, though. Definitely worth testing. There is only the... Well, I mean, that's pretty much the first round since the pistol for Complexity. First relevant round. So now it's their chance to come back. Yeah, and the money's not great on the space station. They spent basically everything here, so Plexi have been doing damage. So space station looking for a win here to stop that momentum from playing out in Complexi's favor. Oh, the two-man push, so active here from a space station. Really fun to see in trophy room now. Snake's holding a forward position, doesn't have to go further. And that's exactly why they don't expect to see an orb so deep. Falls back early, five versus four. That's what you love to see when you're the CT side. Brilliant stuff. However, Stan has made his way into the fence. I wonder if anyone has any idea about this. It doesn't really seem to be the case. Maybe Snake's does know. Two for Grim, and the bomb, and the numbers are just not great for Shazam. Everyone surviving again for Space Station, the perfect response. They make it easier now to win the following round because there's no money for complexity. That is a huge round to win. Wow. Started off with that nice little play, and then I have to say though, it feels like complexity when they're entering some of the bomb sites. It doesn't feel like they have as many grenades as you might want or expect. Like running out of hut there, um, it seemed very free those kills from the rafters or the huts position. Ooh. It will be slightly too early for snakes, and here comes the challenge. Look at the first one, spots the bomb as well, and more players. That call can be made to his teammates. Davey will try to get some damage done, but they've cleared out the path. Odorous now has to make it work with his AWP. Picks off one as they make their way forwards, and it's going to be the bomb plant for Android. Infinite! Caught off guard. Big chance for complexity. All three players towards the ramp. Is this identified by complexity? Potential double peak for them. One player low on the silo, one player high. So far, so good. Molotov to force them out. Grim is there with a pre-fire. Two more players to find. No smokes there as a molly. They could put the molly in control. The doors are closed. There goes the molly to control. The bomb's planted for the double doors, and it will be a double peek, it seems. That's the first one. But the, it's Ye with a two-man spray down for the fourth round for complexity. What has this done to the money of Space Station? It's a bit awkward, isn't it? If Grim can drop an M4 and still have enough to buy himself, Snakes can maybe drop a UMP or something. That could be useful or a Famous, but opts to go for the AWP. And so it doesn't look too horrendous here, but it's interesting that Snakes is staying on the AWP. Odorous has the scout. We'll see how that plays off. Maybe it's a spawn for Snakes towards that ramp position, or maybe they just want to use him there alone. So that's why it's the AWP, but there's the forward play from the shotgun getting taken down, and Odorous <laughs> just in the middle of nowhere, exposed to all. Infinite creating some space. Also time for him to escape to heaven. He does not want to be at the point of no return for too long. Shazam starting to peek as well. Shown some leg. Because in the corner of Shazam. Smoke working out for Infinite. Some light spray. Light showers. Now, the red box above where he's looking is also where you can sometimes find CT teams with an AWP. So one must be careful. Infinite, close enough to Mini that he maybe heard the jumping. But now all noise is cut. Man advantage for complexity. Grim expectant of the B bomb site. Space Station essentially playing reactive at this point. They don't have the personnel to be too proactive on a map such as Nuke.
timing. Oh, it's not going to work out for Snakes. Two versus four. Strong position for Grim, but it, it's going to be difficult here. Too many players. You can get wallbanged from below. That's another issue. And, well, Stan's just taking down everyone with that UMP of his. Oh, hello. Easy kill from Infinite. Now, he could try to take the op away here with that smoke and try to save it. That could be... Okay, yeah, that's what he's going to go for. That does make a lot of sense. You know, 1v3. Trying to make sure he can't get caught here. Really smart stuff. Managing to escape. And they definitely need this orb. They don't really have anything else in the, in the next round to play with. So he will defend this. And you can see it'll be the second round lost in the row. That's $1,900 in addition to what the team has now. So really, they would like to go for another save before they go for their full buy. Of course, that does give them only one more buy in this half. Death of the information. <laughs> oh man, that's expensive, isn't it? Ouch. It's the way it still work. SMG's doing work. Fabulous. So it will be the hero AWP for Infinite, the man with the Kevlar, as the man who will take the sniper rifle. Now again, you want him to get aggressive with it. He's in the secret position very, very quickly. Snakes with a taser. Now, Complexity's anti-ecos should be more thorough. The usual stuff from them. The timing, you can even see the timing in the... Well, Grenades has improved over this half. How did he find himself there? No sniper rifle just yet. Davey sees little. Does he take that jewel? Tough one, especially as they're moving. And here is Infinite. Oh, Stanislaw with better positioning. Taze doesn't work. Slow death for Space Station in round number 14. We look good for sixth round for complexity. So again, it was 2-0 for complexity. Then it was 2-7 in favor of Space Station. And now it is 6-8. So uh, the tides are turning. And this is it. No AWP ready for Space Station. I doubt Infinite will go for it. Is there anyone that could have afforded it? You will get rifles and full mates. The only person to get full mates. No one else can afford it. Three orgs. Quarter C. And 9-6. Very realistic here for Space Station. Very needed. Again, I really don't... I can't necessarily have confidence on their T side. I can't imagine that they've got much prepared for that side of the... of nukes. So... See if they can get number nine. Very, very little grenades at this point. Gonna have to make some big individual moments happen in this round. I'm actually taking it really slow, but Space Station doing the right thing here. Having two players towards this position. The smoke goes down after the kill, making it very difficult to trade it. Space has to be careful not to get naded here. Oh man, he's retempting really fates. Exactly. That's the problem. But will they be baited into infinite? Now, I've seen him come out of this position and not check immediately. If they're going for the first kill, I wondered if he would consider letting somebody go past. But it, of course, it is a massive risk. So here we go. Sub one minute mark. Grim once again in the B area. He's been here on many occasions. So it's nice glass to go through. Two targets, one kill. Two versus three in favor of complexity. Bomb planted. For the ramp and the double doors, essentially. Seems to be a more favored plant for this T side than towards the decontamination area. We see Space Station isolated from each other. And a 2v1 spot for double doors. I wonder if they lined up to have a CT expose themselves when they were looking towards decon. Out again. There's a 2v1 in action. Now Odorous, the bombs are planted for him. The Molotov won't help. He hasn't even got a kit. All the rounds, seven to eight in favor of Space Station at half time after a seven to start for Space Station. Now, Dan, you said that they needed to win loads of rounds on their CT side. Space Station is eight enough. 
Yeah, I guess it depends on how strong complex you're going to be on this CT side. <coughs> and whether Space Station's individual quality is able to shine here. Because that can often be a problem. We've even seen it with G2, for example, where you've got the likes of Shocks on that team, go, you know, not getting a frag for 10, 11 rounds. It's, it's so important on this map that you know how to set your players up. So Space Station really need that pistol when they're going to go for the door and that's going to be exploderized by an HE grenade. Looking to just bow, barrel down on this upper bomb side. Very bold, very brave. Starting to find some kills here. Three versus two now in favor of Space Station. They're making it work. Quickly a two on two. Def has the defuse kit and he still has the high ground and a smoke. In the meantime, Ye is looking for the info. Oh, that's... Great positioning from Odorous. Right place, right time for him. Def, does he hear the players towards the ramp? I think he may do. There's so much time on the clock. Space Station don't really need to commit to a rotation, which is quicker for complexity. But there we are. He'll go for a similar plant. The door is open. The cover is there. He can't stop the plant from going down. Snakes knows he's safe. And now they reposition it for a double pick. Great play from Odorous. But Snakes has gone out of the doors. Open the doors again. Death dancing, looking for 1v1s. Five bullets for him. He's got to be so careful. What kinds of shenanigans going on? Two bullets now. That's got to be so frustrating. The round will go to Space Station. And we split pistols. That's really cool to see. Always like that. And now... Space Station gets to start off at T-side, and I'm curious how it's going to look, how they'll start things. Obviously, the anti-ecos on cash for them were quite difficult, seemingly, and you know one would hope that that would not be the case here as well. Two MAC-10s should be a really good answer to pretty much anything. Just use those guys to get information to go first as the expendable players. Really good this, you know, against a buy like this where there's, well, a lack of a buy like this where there's no helmets. You can keep things fairly quick as well with those Mac 10s, so that's also a plus. You can see them bunny hopping their way forwards right there. Down they go. <coughs> nice. Not nice for complexity. They have, they have three losses now, right? Yes. I think the target has to be five. Looking at. Um, is it Renegades? Renegades have five losses now, right? And they're second place at the moment. I want to say there are two teams with seven losses. So I think seven losses is worst case scenario. And five losses has to be the target. They've got three at the moment. So the margin for error is small when you've got nine games, including this one remaining. Complexity, so. Not a great start to the CT side losing the pistol, but three rounds is small. Now, we're not going to see an AWP. So, holding the outside may be troublesome. We haven't really seen people outside garage, around the back of the garage. I feel like some G2 teams, some Shox teams were putting a player there when this nuke came out earlier, but it's become a lot more rare at present. I mean, I guess part of it was the catwalk as well, which no longer exists. They beat quickly into the vent position. That spray will actually let him run a few steps as well. Less likely to be hurt. And Death, I guess, had no idea. Yeah, just creeping down the ladder as so slow as possible. Nobody would expect this. And it's a fast push down into the lower site. Yay is a good spot, but again, there are some weaknesses to it. Have to see if he can survive and crossfire with his teammates. Let's have a mate from Rab. There is Shazam and Ye spotted. Be so careful. Nice peek coming out from Infinite. Finishing off Ye, and that's going to allow them to burst onto the bomb site for the plant. Next phase is to defend the plant. Five versus three should be too much of an effort. Really cool. Uh, well, very nice frag indeed from Shazam. But it's all for naught. It's like the first buy round is going to go to Space Station. Hello. Hello. Quick look from Odorous, but Android said Odorous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Fle fleeting visit from the cringe lord. A space station going to 2 0 complexity. 
They these two win if they get two wins here, these could be you may look at these as the gate the gatekeeper wins. Which stop complexity from making it to land. That is a question that may need to be asked later on. But um, in the next buy round from Complexity, they'll have the sniper rifle. And maybe that will make the difference. They won't buy around these weapons because it will ruin the, the economy long term. Better to keep the money together, do what you can. Keep the money on it for Space Station. Take one or two plays down if possible, or it's more than better. <laughs> Ooh. He's going for it again. This uh, fast all plan the door is can really catch you off guard. It's one of the annoying things about playing the hut's position. The, uh, or the, sorry, the squeaky door position. That's his ET. Down goes Yay. Forced away by more powerful beings. Space Station rolling in with those AKs. And they are going towards hell. Will they go up towards heaven? Zan spotted them. I really like this. This is very cool. If you get up to heaven, it's just there's just nothing that the CTs can do if you are able to actually get positioned there. That's a big frag, and surely the AK of Android will do damage. No, he doesn't get a single thing on the upper bomb site. Really nice jewels taken here by Infinite. Leaving Ye alone. And it looks like uh, it will be the fourth round for Space Station. Yeah, he's not even giving this one a, even a thought. Just go say that off straight away. And so this is the start. If, if Space Station are going to take the 2-0, this is absolutely the start on the T side that you wanted to see if you were a fan of that. It's quite funny to you because surely Complexity are in a practice room right now in Chicago, I would imagine. So usually you see teams a bit more hyped up playing from that position. You're at an event. They're you know, just coming off of a win against Na'Vi. Sorry, who am I talking about? Oh, that's the United. What am I talking about? Ignore all of that. I always try. I'm mental. I confused complexity with the United. I don't know why I just did that. They're just all white Americans to you, Dan. <laughs> don't forget to vote. If you are North American and you haven't done so today, I don't know what the cutoff time is, but get out there and vote. Do it. Be a part of it. <coughs> Do it. I don't know when I last voted. I think the last vote we had for something, I was here, and I didn't. I didn't know about it in uh, ahead of time. Postal voting. So I didn't know how to do po it. To postal vote. Yeah, but I don't know if I have to like register for something in advance or how that works. But bloody LJ. When's the next vote for something? I want to vote for something. <laughs> I should uh, do a search on the internet. What can I vote for in the next 24 hours? Look at the petitions. It's not really a, a vote, though, is it? It's just a petition. Five round lead for Space Station. A bonus sniper rifle for complexity. Jay having stolen one. Ooh, that should have surely been a kill for Odorous. Big chance for, for him. Is this timing right for Secret? Oh, these peaks are teasing us. There's the head. There goes the head, rolling down the stairs. Like a Meg Mel Gibson movie. And now what? She's on Swats 1. Swats 1. Smoke has gone. Could have used that to reposition. But he's got his angle. Odor is closer to the corner. Get taken out. And uh, now it's time for Space Station to feel failure as they get limited success in their uh, buy round versus finally the full buy complexity. A second kill, no trade frag popping out, so he's unlike he's less likely to pick that corner. Because surely if somebody was there they'd run out and trade the frag. Well, now that the mission is to avoid the reset, that's that would be pretty problematic. They do have a couple players with some money, but that happens. Well, Plexi are in some real trouble. In some real trouble. Smashing the glass. Infinite gets his vandalism game going. And Shazam watches the outside. The guardian of outside. Standing ever vigilance against the enemy forces. I feel like you're narrating a 
ch a child's cartoon from the 90s or even the 80s. But I like it. I can dig it. I'm an 80s baby. Smokes on the outside to obscure vision, make it look like maybe they're going for a play down secret. Who knows? Unless you push that. Oh, this could be interesting. A flash into the skyline. This is really cool to see, but Shazam's not blind at all. And they just run out in front of him. He's completely unchallenged here. It's like shooting bots dropping down in front of the AWP. Beautiful work from Shazam. Still goes down the hole through the door, betraying him. As it is a three versus two in favor of complexity, but not for too long. Snakes is at them on the bomb site now, looking for the next headshots. Can he get the bomb down? That Molotov might just do the trick. Didn't go down the, uh, the hole there. Happens sometimes. Oh no, looking bad for complexity now. FBI running out of agents. She's our Mr. Smith. Should, should hear the scope. The other side. Both versus well positioned. Basically, headshot angle. And there is the round. Round number 13 for Space Station. They've reset complexity, who are in fairness one round away, more or less, from buying who are going to choose to force it up because they're just losing too much. They've got to turn it around now. Maybe this was the map that they worked on? Question mark. <laughs> so at this point, it's, you wonder if it's a shame that the... Well, I guess it is a shame the changes came so late on yeah. in the season for Space Station. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Well, they need to identify the status quo as far as complexity are concerned. Now the spray of the M4 from Ye basically does that for them. They're on a buy. They won't know how high, how big or small the buy is. They won't know that there's a pistol or an auto shotgun yet. Shazam, he's got to hit that one. Only one pump for Android, not enough. And now Snakes can just go in and get the info. He's low, doesn't, if he dies, they've still got a numbers advantage, so it doesn't matter so much. And there is A taken. I like the fast response. I think some people at home would run and want to be at their back and go, I've got 9 HP. All the more reasons to die first, but last. Peaks come in. Ye working it. Stas will find snakes. That might allow Ye to come out from the upper position. Infinite, the jump peak comes in. Stan doing some damage with the orb. And that'll be the defuse. Nicely done. Very, very strong retake. Very important that it was made as well. You can see the money situation. Had they lost this one, that would have been probably it. So they knew that one person was T vent because of the reload after the smoke. I don't know where the first kill came from. They steal a second AWP away from Space Station, which will definitely help with the shortcomings in this round. And maybe they can stabilize. Although, could it be a fast round from Space Station? I see a HE for Squeaky Door, I presume. Smoke into main as well, maybe. Some people traffic, there's a smoke into main. But it's a fake, they're trying to pull people into the A bomb site. Shazam will break the glass, the T's will hear that. They've got the numbers to swarm. Who takes the first bullet? Running wide, of course. Very important for Grim. Not standing in the checkpoint to Jewel. Not blocking his teammates. So Space Station will get a bomb plant. Very important bonus money. And Shazam is basically at the point in the road. It's a lovely one tap from him. Well, enough time for his team to rotate in as well. The shotgun could be doing better. Must be said. <laughs> Infinite. Can he pull a weapon away out of this at the very least? Android with 3 HP will survive. Surely get a nice upgrade indeed. Second AWP collected. And now they're only three rounds behind. It becomes doable for, co for complexity. But they've only won. I mean, that was an eco round. Beyond that, they've won two rounds this half. Maybe the, D, maybe the double ops will be the difference here for them. Odorous has been really great with his orb, pretty much on both sides, like CT and T side, which is really encouraging. Not the easiest thing to do. And here he is again. Oh, that's an off, uh, a frag just offered to him. Stan just shouldering the angle to try to get a nade out, but unfortunately didn't count on an orb being hold on, on 
being on that angle, as we'll see Shazam working secret. But Odorous has been quite good at dealing with the secret players there. Death, though. Oh, my God. Just a free one for him as well. So going backwards and forwards, the Orbs really dominating this round so far. Shazam in lower area. So it's a 3v3 towards A. One minute on the clock for Infinite. You can grenade his position from the rafters in A. You'll see it on occasion from different people. I think Edwards might be a user of that. A lot of European teams will grenade that position. Shazam missing a shot. Now there are 35 seconds and this cut is a problem for, for Space Station. They can't take the secret position for granted because they just saw, they just saw Shazam there. So they know they're going towards A now. 23 seconds to plant the bomb. Shazam in the vent, moving up with his pistol. Infinite last man and he won't get anything done. Options taken away for Space Station. Pretty much condemned to run to their doom after not re-challenging Shazam. Allowed complexity to concentrate the forces towards A. And now they're two rounds behind. Yes. The Eagle's out though. On to Odorous. The door will be blown to smithereens. Quick smoke though. And oh, and it was, the smoke is not deep enough, unfortunately, for Edoras. So this looks like somewhat of a nothing round coming in from Space Station. They need their next buy to be successful. Just you know, nip this, come back in the bud. Definitely don't want to turn around and pull a knife out in that situation. Take nothing for granted. I feel like, um, oh, who's the guy in Batman? Neeson. You know, when he's teaching Bruce Wayne in the mountains all the stuff about being a ninja. I forget, I need to learn the, the bars. <laughs> what are you saying? You know in Batman, yeah, Batman Begins. You're talking about when he goes up in the t in like Tibet or something, yeah, and he's yeah. teaching all the ninja stuff. Yeah, and it's like you know, I want to say some dramatic lines from that. <laughs> maybe I you should remember any of them. Maybe you should prepare James because now he just said a bunch of stuff that's meaningless. That's true. <laughs> so let everyone down the, up into a dead end. It's this beautiful path that you showed everybody. It just led to it. Yeah, most of my stories don't really have an end because I can't remember it, or they're just bad stories. <laughs> well, looks like we'll get some nades lining up into the A bomb site. Molly on the roof of the huts. And usually that's to allow you to escape into the upper positions more easily as a tease, but it's proving difficult. Still getting the frags, but the trades are coming in. Looks like that after the dust settles, Space Station will be standing tall on that bomb site, looking to plant. And plant they will. Orbs on the retake. Not too fun. And Molotov was missing in the first half. Easier if you give up a kill. Wow. Dev's got to find something though. Maybe he can behind CT Vent. Having a quick look. Oh, we've seen him as well. There's the kill. Now, where is the last player? On the flank. Really awkward, but manages to get it. Now, the bomb is planted for Snakes. Mr. Mark with the Molotov. She's I'm looking away from the flashbang. Running out of bullets to Snake. So awkward. Got to get his reload in. Shazam has a kit. Does he just commit to it? Down goes the flash. He's faking, but how does he win the round now? Answer is that he doesn't. 14 to 12 for Space Station. Still some juice in the rocket yet. Yeah, Snakes has had some great clutches, like 1v2 clutches in this uh, game so far. I was a bit worried when Davey just sort of ran out there. Uh, you know, felt like he kind of gave away a, gave a frag, and then and the player playing CT Vent was exposed because of that, and then you know just all starts to collapse. But another fast one, perhaps from Space Station, just trying to move quickly forwards, but the pre from the CTs will slow them down. Some cursory spray through the smokes. Reload, reload will be heard, and they'll push forwards to try to punish. But 
Yeah, he's doing a great job, doing so much damage, falling back. Molotov in his wake so that he is not pursued. And now he's got another position. This is not good for Space Station. Oh, timing. As Ye being spotted. Lining up in a tight choke point. Instant trade from Davey. Man advantage for complexity. Again, they are in a situation where they cannot really give up any more rounds to complexity. Space Station looking for match points. Different plant on this occasion. Actually planting towards this door, but Sanistor can't stop it. As scary as that may have been. Space Station will commit infinite now on one HP. Odorous of a very quick peek of a player on ramp. As he's expect a second one missing the shot. Going back again, but Shazam will trade. Davey now. Does he just try to hold on to his AK at this point? No, he's going for the ramp in. Slowly moving around. Oh, no deepest kit. Smoke in the wrong position. There's the spray. Oh, he's going too far to the right-hand side. He's running out of bullets as well. He probably doesn't think they're on it. And there is a 10-second defuse in the smoke from Android. And an elimination as well. And an AWP saved. And look at the money. This is very interesting. Space Station have to eco. Unless they're crazy. Damn. Well, Deagle. And that's basically, basically it now for Space Station. That last one was so close. Oh. The drop, not quartz. Can't really expect too much from. Space Station in this round, the Deagle's down. Just some Glocks remaining. Deagle picked up. Flashbang on Davy as well. So it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Fish with Deagles. And that'll be that. 14-14, and now it's getting really, really interesting. Couple rounds for both teams to take this one. Complexity need it very badly. They really need to win this game. And Space Station, they could ruin everything for complexity. Yeah, they really could. Is this gatekeeping territory? Maybe now wall of smokes from Space Station outside, just waiting for everybody to be ready. That Molotov on two, the heart was missing in the first off. I don't know if I said that earlier on. But we could have done with seeing more of that for complexity. Molly to deter the T's moving forward, but three will make it through. Two losing half their health, but maybe this is a better option than being contained by space state by complexity, who make no assumptions. Stanislaw is in position. Guessing he's standing, so we can quickly crouch and escape the situation if it gets bad. Flashes to avoid the initial angles. There we go. Quick crouch, but he's outstaying his welcome. Thought he would have fell back at least. Still a man advantage. Ye could have been heard on the platform, though. Yeah, that's such a great spot for Ye. We'll hear the door opens. He's covered. You can see he can just take his time. And how he peeks at angles. It's like working his way around the site very nicely. If it does take him down, but it's really difficult, I think, for them. Davey has to deliver here. Just a wild spray. Somehow gets one and doesn't get traded. Infinite, can he get there in time? He can't. Not quite. And Death now spraying forwards. Infinite with no HP to take the jewel anymore. Has to find an instant headshot. He can't do it. It's match point for complexity. Very important round for complexity. Clawing back. Look at these diffuses in the second half. It's got to be nervous times for them. On three losses for now, let's not forget. Very important game to collect for them if they can do it. Now, Space Station, probably one of the situations they are least prepared for, I would imagine. The Snake's going for a pistol run play into the vent. Not quite working out. And I think they yeah, the AK as well, so that's been lost. Maybe Davey can retrieve it. Looks like he can. Could make his way down to the vents as well, but who knows, maybe one of the complexity players have gone down and are waiting for him. Looks like complexity have really set themselves up well here. Molotov to hell to deny the angle so that they can drop down safely, but you can see the rotations already happened. There's a chance though. Davy swings out, finds Stan again. Oh man, it's just so much to deal with. And 16 to 14 complexity. They had to come back. 
the whole match, but they make it happen and they only drop a single map to their opponent's space station, the underdogs in every sense. Yeah, had to really fight for that one complexity. And with tougher opponents to come today, maybe this is the kind of what they needed, some shock in the system, get the adrenaline running. Space Station looking better. I mean, the, the score will say that much. Again, complexity with a great start. So that is a big scalp for the shelf of Space Station. And uh, again, it's all about just building with the new roster, showing some promise, and I think they have that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's definitely there. They've got a lot of really good pieces to the team. Uh, you know, obviously Davies in there is an IGL as well. That's something they needed. And Odorous seems to be a really awesome AWP player. He's very useful on the T side and the CT side. He's very dynamic. He makes plays. And, you know, so does the rest of the team. You've got some clutches in there as well. We saw some really calm stuff from Snakes. You know, I don't think there's anybody really that goes without mention on the side of Space Station. So they're exciting as a prospect. And it was a tight match. Complexity only barely taking this one over the line. And you would absolutely expect them to have the better form right now. Shazam and Infinite doing the big damage for their respective teams all the rounds, all 30 rounds in that one. And it is complexity with another W on the board. So that is Space Station done and out of the way for complexity. The next opponent will be E United. Two more matches to go coming up after the break. We will see you back here shortly.